Hey everybody, welcome back to my habitat. Today, I'm going to be cleaning up the rack behind me because I'm getting ready to sew a bunch of seats, so stay tuned for future videos. But before I can do any of that, I need to clean up the rack. Uh, thin some of my things. I have a lot of stuff to do. Actually, you know, just let me show you. So you can see all my lavenders. I'm gonna transplant these into their own pots. Each pot seems to have at least two of the lavenders in it. The hyssop is also doing really, really well. It desperately needs to be thinned. I have some pretty large ones in there, but some pretty small ones as well. Agastache is doing beautiful and just rubbing my hands through it. I can already smell it. it smells wonderful. I have a bunch of things in this tray that haven't come up. That back there is all the silver falls that never came up. So I'm gonna empty out the soil of those. Thin some of my delphiniums because there's a few coming up in the same cell. Get rid of this tray because that's also nothing came up. And I'm also gonna condense my blue salvia. Last but not least, I'm going to thin all these pansies. I have so many of them coming up. Most of them are single celled like this one. But this one's got two, so I need to clear that out. beginner seed starter or even just a gardener this is the hardest part of the job is thinning seedlings these are perfectly good plants but I'm just not willing to grow them and put, give them room on the rack behind me because I have so much other stuff I want to start but now I have a lot of room for all the plants I do want to grow up and be really big and strong because if I kept them all in their tiny pots they wouldn't have done as well This tray has quite a few things in it. I need to take a lot of these trays out. All of the silver falls. They didn't do anything. Sad, but hey, I got more room. Nothing to cry over. My gems, I have two little seedlings here. I already uh, thinned these the other day, but I got two there that I'm gonna pot up in their own pots and they'll grow up in that pot probably for the rest of the season simply because they're a little bit slow growing. Delphiniums are gonna stay in the pot, but they do need to be thinned. Most of them have two, oh, that one has three per cell, and they should be one per cell. I got two little baby Glardias. Those are also gonna get their own pot, so I'll put them with the GMs. Blue Salvia, doing really well, but does need to be condensed. It's an easy job, let's get started. That's all the work I did today, taking out the seedlings. And honestly, it's not a fun job, but it's so necessary and it creates a lot less stress. I know it is absolutely heartbreaking because like even now I have, like these pansies are still usable. This Egastache can totally still be planted. I don't have space for it and I'm not willing to baby it somewhere else in my house. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is quality, not quantity. Now I'm gonna take all my Egastache and maybe some of the lavender and go make a tea. Thank you for watching. Till next time, stay planting.